As a reminder, collect 25 microliter samples at indicated steps of the purification to analyze by SDS page. To begin with, obtain your cell pellet. Transfer your thawed cell pellet to a beaker containing a stir bar. Measure out 5 to 10 times your cell weight in buffer A, which is your lysis buffer, and add it to your cell pellet. Place the solution containing your buffer and cell pellet on a stir plate and stir the solution until it becomes homogeneous. Place your cells on ice. Set your sonicator up so that the horn or the tip of the sonicator is about one centimeter below the top of the solution of your cell solution. Ensure that your cells remain on ice throughout the procedure. When sonication is complete, remove the horn from your cells. Wash the tip of the horn with ethanol and wipe it down with a chem wipe or a paper towel. At your bench, pour your lysate into a high-speed centrifuge tube. Balance your tube with another high-speed centrifuge tube filled with water. Place your balanced tubes on opposite sides of the rotor in a centrifuge. Apply the lid to the rotor, making sure that it is tight but not too tight. Close the door and run a program provided to you by your TA. When complete, open the door, remove the lid, and remove your tubes. Note the cell debris or the insoluble portion of the cells are at the bottom of the tube. Pour off the supernatant into a clean beaker. We now need to prepare the FPLC. To begin with, place your lysis buffer and your elution buffer on top of the FPLC. Insert your A line into the lysis buffer and B line into the elution buffer. Turn on the FPLC. Next, we need to insert the line into the peristaltic pump. Open up the clamp of the peristaltic pump and insert the line. Place the line perfectly centered on the peristaltic pump and clamp it shut. Be sure the line is not being pulled from the sample valve or the pressure sensor. Purge the A line by accessing the manual run screen and increasing the flow rate to 3 mils per minute. Be sure no air bubbles are in the line. To purge the B line, increase the concentration to 100%. Next, we need to add your his column to the FPLC. Unscrew the coupling on the his column before the UV detector. Insert your FPLC column on the coupling and on the line.
Change the flow of the FPLC so that the buffer flows through the column. Reduce the flow rate to 1 mil per minute for our 1 mil hiss column, or up to 5 mils per minute for our 5 mil hiss column. Next, add your lysate to the FPLC by inserting the sample line into your lysate. Be sure not to spill your lysate. Purge your sample line by bypassing the column and flowing the FPLC for one or two minutes so that no bubbles are in the line. Switch the valve so that your lysate flows back over the column and load your lysate over the column. Be sure not to load air onto the column. You will have to keep your eye on the amount of lysate that's left. After you have loaded all of your lysate, switch the sample valve so that buffer A, or your lysis buffer, is flowing over the column. Wash the column for five column volumes. To elute your protein from the column, switch your concentration of buffer B to 100%. As you see an increase in absorbance, begin fractionation. Collect anywhere between 3 to 5 mil fractions. Once your protein has eluded from the column, place your protein on ice. Continue to wash your column with the elution buffer for five more column volumes. End the program and remove your FPLC column. If you have used in the USB drive, you can save your chromatogram to the USB drive. It's now time to clean the FPLC. To do so, place the sample line in 10% ethanol and purge the sample line.
Next, place the ethanol on top of the FPLC, place both A and B lines into the ethanol, and purge the lines. The last thing we need to do is unhook the peristaltic pump line and turn off the instrument.